I'm gonna show you how you can create your own outfits around the Chuck Taylor All-Star White High Tops without breaking the bank. Hey, my name is Chris and on this channel, I like to create content around men's shoes, clothes, and grooming products as a whole. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Step one, you need the shoes. Glad we got that out of the way. Let's go to step two. Here we are again, back at my closet here. I like to go with my pants first because it forces me to make a choice and I won't be just standing there all day looking around going, mm. It also helps with shaping your silhouette, which is important with Chuck Taylors because it's a really thin shoe and it can look really good with some things and just as bad with others. Now, since it is summer, you can go with shorts, khakis, cargos or whatever with these really but in this case i'm gonna go with a simple pair of light wash jeans and really i want the baggy jeans but i don't want them to overflow onto the shoes too much i want to show off those high tops you know and i'm gonna do a simple pin roll cuff because i like how it transitions the shoes to the jeans if you want to know how to do a pin roll cuff i actually uploaded a youtube short showing you how to do this in like 20 seconds we're also going to grab a belt with this outfit and I'll show you why in just a second. And later in the video, I'll show you some other outfits with shorts and other stuff as well. So keep watching. Step three, time to choose a shirt. If your pants are baggy, your shirt should be as well. There are some exceptions and most of the time you can probably pull it off if you go with a tight shirt and baggy jeans. Women's Fashion actually does a lot and they do it really well. But if you wanna play it safe and make your life a little bit easier then just stick to the script. And the same thing goes if you went with skinnies or slim fits. Keep them skinny or slim fit. Now personally, I prefer solid colored tees, but Chuck Taylors are so casual, this might be a good time to go with a graphic tee like Ron Swanson here. Or this Tokyo tee that you've seen a thousand times. Not that side though. This side with the little graphic. And you might have guessed it, I'm just gonna go with this Tokyo tee again. But because it's summer and you can't really do much, I'm gonna grab this button down as well and throw it over just to spice it up a little. And you can do the same. Try a few things on and see what works and what you like. Choose a shirt color that's close to the white of the shoes. If you look closely, the shoes have little blue and red lines through them and you can choose something that's close to one of those two colors as well. But for me, I'm gonna just stick with the white tee. So let's go three feet that way and talk about how to add that razzle dazzle. Here we are already, step four, right? Time to spice things up. There are two really easy ways to spice your outfit up. One is layers and two, Number one, layers. Number two, accessories. That's why I grabbed the blue button down. Since it's summer, I'm gonna go with some gold and I'll, I'll keep this on too. Actually, I might just throw both of them on. With white, you can wear gold or silver and they're both fine. It's not like some colors where they just kind of clash a bit. And remember guys, you don't have to get anything expensive, just something that you can wear. On top of that, I'm gonna tuck my shirt in to add some separation, but also because that's my business and I want to. And going back to the button down, I grabbed it to keep it casual and flowy and kind of go with the baggy pants as well. So it doesn't look too tight at the top and baggy at the bottom. Remember, silhouette. <laughs> hmm? Mm -hmm. You can wear this on regularly and unbuttoned, but if you're feeling a little spicy, you can go ahead and tie it around your waist and don't let anybody tell you anything. Also, you won't have a heat stroke from wearing too many layers. So, mm -hmm. Now let's go to step five, putting it all together and just having fun. Point to step five is to have fun with what you're wearing. And I always want to stress this, I'm gonna keep on saying it. Fashion is subjective, not objective. There is no rules to this. You wear what you want to. You ever watch a runway show? Those I, what? Where y'all okay? Exactly, exactly. What wear what you want to try stuff out. XT. Oh, these are these are outfits. I was okay. All right. So I'm reading my notes right here. I was like, what the hell? These are outfit notes. Like this is a whole outfit put together. Damn. All right. And y'all know I'm not gonna leave you with one outfit. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> 